really wins challengers wild final match. But who wins the match? That will likely be the question on every moviegoer's lips as they leave Luca Guadagnino's sweaty, funny tennis drama challengers. The film climaxes with a winner takes all final between Art, Mike Faced, and Patrick, Josh O'Connor, on the hard courts of New Rochelle, New York. As an audience, we're unusually invested in the result of this match, if journeyman Josh wins, he's guaranteed a spot in the US Open. If multi, Grand Slam, winning Art wins, he might kickstart his career revival. But really these two old friends are playing for honor and, it seems, for the heart of Patrick's ex-girlfriend, Art's wife, and coach, the mercurial Tashi, Zendaya. In a way, they all win, because for the first time in years, they finally lose themselves in the pure beauty of tennis, but in another, more crucial way, who wins the match. The final point we see, in the third set tiebreaker, ends in a, very unusual way. I play and watch a lot of tennis and I can confidently say I have never seen a similar event in another tennis match. But frustratingly, we never get to learn how the film's tennis umpire, played by the unflappable Darnell Appling, Zendaya's longtime assistant, calls the point, and the whole sequence appears constructed to leave the question up in the air. Still, I wanted to know how an actual tennis umpire would rule on a play like this, so I telephoned David Hansas, section chair of officials for the U.S. Tennis Association's Eastern Division. Our conversation has been edited and condensed for clarity and, obviously, contains major spoilers. David hasn't yet seen the movie but said he didn't mind hearing how it ends. But who wins the match? That will likely be the question on every moviegoer's lips as they leave Luca Guadagnino's sweaty, funny tennis drama challengers. The film climaxes with a winner takes all final between Art, Mike Faced, and Patrick, Josh O'Connor, on the hard courts of New Rochelle, New York. As an audience, we're unusually invested in the result of this match, if journeyman Josh wins, he's guaranteed a spot in the US Open. If multi, Grand Slam, winning Art wins, he might kickstart his career revival. But really these two old friends are playing for honor and, it seems, for the heart of Patrick's ex-girlfriend, Art's wife, and coach, the mercurial Tashi, Zendaya. In a way, they all win, because for the first time in years, they finally lose themselves in the pure beauty of tennis, but in another, more crucial way, who wins the match. The final point we see, in the third set tiebreaker, ends in a, very unusual way. I play and watch a lot of tennis and I can confidently say I have never seen a similar event in another tennis match. But frustratingly, we never get to learn how the film's tennis umpire, played by the unflappable Darnell Appling, Zendaya's longtime assistant, calls the point, and the whole sequence appears constructed to leave the question up in the air. Still, I wanted to know how an actual tennis umpire would rule on a play like this, so I telephoned David Hansas, section chair of officials for the U.S. Tennis Association's Eastern Division. Our conversation has been edited and condensed for clarity and, obviously, contains major spoilers. David hasn't yet seen the movie but said he didn't mind hearing how it ends. Dan Coys, tell me how long you've been a tennis official. David Hansas, I've been officiating for about 20 years. What kinds of matches do you umpire? A little of everything. Junior events, college, high school. I've done pro work. I've worked the US Open. Have you been in the chair for a tournament final? What's that like? Certainly there's a little bit of pressure that's involved there. You want to do your best to ensure the match is played in the fairest conditions to both players on the court. You have to be very focused, alert, paying attention to what's going on, and in control of the match. Okay, let me lay out the situation at the end of Challengers. We're in the third set of a three-set match between Patrick and Art. It's a Challenger tournament final. Patrick is a journeyman, Art is a tennis star. The match has had some very unusual things happen already. There's been an underhand serve, some discipline issues, some profanity across the net. 
As an umpire, what do you do to defuse a situation where players are very personally antagonistic to each other? You need to know when to step in and when to let things ride. You want to be the first to react to a situation, and react so it doesn't escalate. At the professional level, we're a little more lenient than in a junior or college event. Sometimes a warning or a soft caution is appropriate to control what we call borderline behavior. Once the third set score is tied, six games to six, they go to a tiebreak. Art serves the first point of the tiebreaker. They end up exchanging volleys in the front court, and Patrick.